Hello, Reddit communities. My name's Hucho. This is my NFT and flood and drain system. I'll be giving you a tour of my system today. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the community posts underneath this video. Alrighty, let's get started. First of all, this is my NFT system. It runs from a pump down in the reservoir up to the top, which feeds the top of the rail and gravity feeds all the way down to the IBC. The IBC is the reservoir for both the NFT and the flood and drain system. The IBC is a chop and flip job with the top used as a grow bed with hydrogen clay balls and a bell siphon. All of the techniques that I use within the systems can be found on my YouTube channel. Just search Hucho on YouTube and all the videos will pop up. But essentially I use a puck system to plant my plants and then when the plants get larger, I use a noodle system or a pool noodle system that just slips around the outside of the plants to, to give them some more support where the root mass holds themselves in place. In the system's reservoir, I've got two pumps running, one for the NFT system and one for the flood and drain system. The nutrient solution that I use is a granular nutrient solution. Uh, it exists as nutrients and trace elements and calcium. I also supplement calcium uh, as I've had some issues with blossom end rot. And I also supplement potassium for the fruiting plants in the system. Having a look in here, you can see some of the problems with the blossom end rot I've had recently. Um, it's completely come to a halt since I've added in calcium uh, as a supplement. I've actually done a video on this uh, if you're interested in such a thing. Some of the plants I've got growing in the system that are currently fruiting are these jalapenos. Uh, we've got capsicum here. Uh, over here, I've got tomatoes just rambling. Uh, here is a zucchini vine that I'm just letting go wild. Uh, down here, I've got a looper. So just below the system, we've got our ducks uh, in the shade at the moment. Um, here we have, uh, it's either okra or tomatillos. I think they're tomatillos, and this is okra back here. Um, we've got tomatoes, tomatoes, strawberries, basil, plenty of basil that I harvest regularly for pesto. Uh, uh, over here we've got some leeks. Um, back here we have uh, loofers, which are taking over a little bit too much. So in the foreground there with the purple flowers, uh, you're looking at an eggplant, uh, aubergine or brinjal. Uh, it has suffered some insect damage before I was able to identify the insect uh, and remove it uh, physically. Uh, there wasn't any pesticides used. Um, we've got plenty of tomatoes up here again, uh, some strawberries. Now it is the either tomatoes or okra, uh, tomatillos or okra. Um, and over here we have some more capsicum um, held in with the pool noodle system. Um, at the front here, I'll bring you around. This is um, my most successful plant in the system, at least size wise. Uh, this is our butternut pumpkin plant. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's butternut pumpkin if I remember the seed packet correctly. Uh, I'll show you some of the flowers and um, fruits on the plant, but it is going wild. Uh, the root system in the NFT is humongous, and uh, I would use individual rails for a plant of this size in the future. Uh, all the videos about uh, root problems in NFT and other such phenomena that I've worked through with this system are available on my youtube channel if you have such interest Alrighty, 
Thanks for watching. As I said, if you have any comments, questions, or advice on my system, um, leave it in either the subreddit comments or on my YouTube channel. Um, and if you're interested in this kind of thing and want regular video updates, uh, subscribe and like my videos. I'm also doing a video at the moment on whether seedlings and plants will grow in coconut water. So if you're interested in that video, head over to my YouTube as well, and that will be uploaded shortly. Thanks for watching Reddit, and happy hydroponicking.